to get a call or a person in a week looking. And there would be people that you wouldn't, I'm not like thinking like people in like a trench coat and a hat. These are like suburban dads, like looking for like, where's the, the cheerleader movies? Like, yeah, we don't got that, buddy. But what may be the single most important thing that made Blockbuster different was Cook's software. While other mom and pop stores were still using pencils and logbooks, Cook used databases to streamline his inventory and make checking videos in and out more efficient. That meant he could replicate stores much more quickly than competitors. Just a year later, Blockbuster had 20 stores, and that caught the attention of garbage man Wayne Hazenga. Well, less a garbage man and more the CEO of Waste Management, the largest garbage company in the country. While Cook was looking to grow the business through franchising, Hazenga bought Blockbuster and was able to bring in enough capital to grow the company quickly by gobbling up competitors and converting them to Blockbusters. Corporate Blockbuster had begun, and at one point, there was a new Blockbuster opening every 17 hours. Wow. Usually I'll, I'll be at home and I'll think of some very specific movie that I haven't seen in a really long time. And I'll think, well, you know, hey, I live right by Blockbuster. I'll walk down there and see if they have it. So the last one I wanted, very specific, was Insidious 2. So I was like, I'm going to walk. I'm going to walk to Blockbuster. I'm going to get Insidious 2. I grab my keys, lock my door. I walk out my driveway. And then I just have to take one turn. Uh, across the railroad tracks. So I get to Blockbuster, um, look around, find the movie myself, which is my favorite part is like, okay, gotta go to horror, gotta go to the eyes, gotta, you know, like actually finding it. So I go up to the counter, they say, hey, are you ready to go? And I'm always like, I'm never in a hurry to leave. So I'm always like a guest. And they're like, okay. If you're a regular, you know that they either want your driver's license or they want a Blockbuster card. So if you have it, you just have it ready so they don't have to ask you, then you're like, yeah, I'm a regular. So they take it, they they like, they like pop the thing, the lock out of the movie. They check to make sure it's there. They check it, they beep it, and they tell me if I have any late fees or not. They're like, so it appears you have $4 on your account from when you rented Deuce Bigelow. And I'm like, I didn't, you look around like, oh, I didn't rent Deuce Bigelow. <laughs> okay, how much is it? And then uh, you pay it because you don't ever want them to bring up Deuce Bigelow again. My favorite is if you have like two or three movies, one's a new release.